In this video, we are going to talk about Fluent Materializer, which is a Blender add-on that helps you to make your own procedural materials and detailed textures using a fully procedural workflow. After that, you can bake your materials with the bake functions that the add-on offers. What I found interesting in this add-on is that it's extremely versatile. Materializer is not a closed tool that only works with itself, it integrates with your existing materials to add all the details you need. The add-on is built on three main ideas. A complete and consistent workflow with no pre-made materials, a global method, and to allow everyone to raise their shading level. Materializer strikes a balance so you can understand your materials and see your skills improve. The workflow is based on layers, layer mixers, and stackable effects and offers both great customization and complete understanding while limiting the size and complexity of the node tree. Now let's see what the add-on offers. First is a pie menu for fast node tree building that allow you to add and auto connect layers, mix layers and add edge and cavity masks. It offers a library of procedural effects that are designed to be easily combined together Fluid Materializer offers 9 node group sections and the first one is Imperfection that have 16 procedural imperfections and here you have fingerprints, liquids, liquid stains, smudges, scratches and dust. Next is Grunge. Here you can choose between 9 grunge maps however the naming is not very descriptive so you have to experiment to see which one you are going to use. Garange maps are very powerful and you can customize all parameters. You can see all the important parameters being exposed within the node group input. And you can always have your essential output results like roughness and normals. Next is patterns. Here you have patterns and semi-procedural patterns. When it comes to liquid maps, you have liquid gradient panels. Now for gradient, it uses gradient to simulate the pouring of the liquids on the top of the model, which is extremely helpful if you want to have that effect. Next is city. Here you have asphalt puddles, roads, road lines, and more. In fabric, you have leather, polished patterns, and wrinkles. And in normals, you have four maps. Some of them are paint and grain. In model, you have five metal effects. Finally, in shaders, you have two shaders, cloth, and the glass shader has an amazing look that doesn't have fireflies when rendering. Now all you have to do is select the map you want to use and click add, so you can add details wherever you want, without painting. Also the materializer add-on allow you to add decals and be able to interact with your materials. Also, you can create local masks, so the masks follow an empty, so you can add details wherever you want without painting and without UVs. You can also create procedural painted masks. You can paint with a procedural brush, but of course the model has to be unwrapped. You can export in one click all of your creations with a resolution from 1K to 8K. We have the ability to easily bake color, metallic, roughness, normal, emission, and IO maps from high to low poly meshes. And if you happen to be working on a game asset, metallic, roughness, and IO can be merged into one map. Now tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.